Hello, I'm Barbara Beers, the author of the Phonics Road to Spelling and Reading and the master teacher for you and your students. I'd like to take a few minutes and give you an inside look into the Level 2 curriculum that follows the completion of Level 1. This level does follow Level 1 and apprentices build another 500 plus words in the blueprints along with new building codes to illustrate various spelling rules and new rule tunes. Using the words they've already built in Level 1 as tools for building sentences, they are introduced to framing and framing codes. This focuses on the grammar of English, learning the simple parts of speech and simple parts of a sentence with new grammar tunes. The apprentices read aloud their first piece of literature, Little House in the Big Woods, as they learn how a great author paints pictures with words. They are introduced to various literary elements and composition basics, all wrapped up in a 65-page literature notebook of their own writing and illustrations. Toward the end of this year, the apprentices learn to connect their clean manuscript printing into a simple, clear cursive writing. The curriculum set this year includes three binders, the Foreman's Construction Guide, an Apprentice's Building Manual, and the Reading and Composition Guide for Little House in the Big Woods. Also included is the 238-page reader, Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Let's begin by taking a look at the individual pieces of the Foreman's Construction Guide. As the master contractor, I provide you with 10 DVDs in this level containing all the video presentations where I teach all the blueprints, building codes, framing codes, and reading and composition study of Little House in the Big Woods. A detailed written plot plan provides the daily schedule for student viewing. The next section in this guide is blueprints beginning with the written four-week review schedule, followed by four spelling tests, the list of rule tunes, and 30 completed spelling list pages that act as answer keys to the work we do in building them in the video presentations. Notice that this year there are no dotted intermediary lines on the blueprint pages, as most students no longer need this writing crutch. All rule tunes continue to be marked by a small musical note and sung throughout the presentations. The next section contains 21 new building code pages illustrating several new spelling rules, which are also set to simple rule tunes for easy memorization and application. Don't get confused by the numbering of these pages. You are able to merge them together with the level one building codes, putting them in number order to make one unit of building codes. Following the building code section in your guide is a new section called framing codes. Using the words the apprentice has already built in level one as tools for building sentences, I introduce framing with framing codes. This focuses on the beginning grammar of English, learning the simple parts of speech and simple parts of a sentence with new grammar tunes. This section begins with a daily framing schedule followed by 38 completed pages that act as answer keys for the new grammar concepts that I teach on the video presentations. The last section, called Composition, contains 31 pages of sentences that an apprentice writes and analyzes this year to practice the simple parts of speech and simple parts of a sentence introduced in the framing codes. I teach how to analyze sample sentences on the video presentations along with all the markings and then ask the foreman to dictate the rest for the apprentices to complete on their own. If all that dictation seems a bit overwhelming to you, don't despair. I have added an extra time-saving feature at the beginning of the apprentices' composition section that will allow students to do some independent work and save time for the busy foreman. Instead of having to dictate various words, phrases, or sentences in the framing codes and composition sections, I have compiled this separate list that students can copy into their notebook pages on their own each week. I will show examples of placement and markings on the video presentations, then the students can complete the framing codes and composition with little direction. 
This is especially helpful if you are teaching different levels at the same time. The second binder in this curriculum set is the Apprentice's Building Manual, including five sections. The first section is Blueprints, containing all the custom paper needed for the entire year to record the 500 plus spelling words as they learn to hear, say, write, read, and analyze each word. Next is Building Codes, 21 custom blank pages that illustrate new spelling rules, ready for the apprentices to build as guided by the master contractor or foreman. Following the Building Codes is Framing Codes. This section includes the 38 custom blank charts that illustrate various parts of speech and parts of a sentence, ready for the apprentices to build as guided by the master contractor or foreman. The next section is composition, and it begins with the apprentice framing and composition copywork schedule, as I already shared with you. Following that schedule are the custom blank pages used for recording sentences, which the apprentice uses to analyze the relationships of words from the framing section of the study. Remember, a word is not a part of speech until it's used in a sentence. The last tabbed section of the Apprentice's Building Manual is the place where students will store their 65 completed little house pages until they're ready to design their literature notebooks at the end of the year. This year, the Apprentices read aloud to you their first piece of literature, Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder, a real life story of a family who lived in America over 150 years ago. In this literature study, apprentices begin to learn various literary elements, such as character, plot, settings, similes, and metaphors. They also practice alphabetizing, listing with commas and semicolons, outlining, essay writing from an outline, paraphrasing, summarizing, and character comparisons all wrapped up in a literature notebook of his own writing and illustrations. The first half of this binder contains a daily reading schedule for the entire year, plus all 65 completed notebook pages that act as an answer key for the study. You can see here the pages where I teach apprentices how to build their first outline from notes in their reading. Behind the completed pages are all the blank pages specially designed for apprentices to record their literature and composition activities. Thank you for letting me introduce you to level two of the Phonics Road to Spelling and Reading. I invite you to visit our website at www.thephonicsroad.com for more detailed information, answers to frequently asked questions, a scope and sequence for each level, free samples and downloads, and more.